read that verse out loud for her that she read about the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force, which is believers aggressively tapping into the Lord and all that he has. I didn't share that with her, but I heard it in my spirit. But I did know that she was going to also read, and I did share that with her, Acts chapter 1, verse 8. And ye shall receive yes. power. Yes. Yes. Dunamis yes. comes from the word dynamite yes. after the Holy Spirit gets on you. Yes. 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 Thank you. Oh, just come on you, don't you, Brad? <laughs> he gets on you. He gets in you. He gets around you. And he can't help but change the environment. And he sends you. <clears throat> she didn't know what the Holy Ghost. See, we got the same daddy. We got the same daddy. We got the same papa. We got the same uh, whatever y'all call him. We got the same one. She didn't know. But the Holy Spirit knew and was orchestrating it. How about that? Yes. Amen. The Holy Spirit knows how to set us up yes. for success. Yes, yes, he does. Just like last week, Brad had a particular message. And y'all didn't know this. Brad and I had talked that week. I knew what Brad was preaching. I knew what he was going to share. And all of a sudden, Brad shows up with a different message. You know why? Because it's a Holy Ghost set up for what today was going to bring. Yes. And I told him that while ago when he came in. See, today is Pentecost. Can we talk about Pentecost? Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. Can we talk about how that was when the Holy Spirit came down? Yes. And honey, he didn't just come down and say, hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. And he made himself known. Yes. See, this is the beautiful, miraculous thing about the Holy Spirit. When you walk in a room as a child of God, honey, don't ever introduce yourself. Your gifts, your talents, your abilities. Yeah. You let the Holy Ghost introduce himself and yeah. say, I'm here. That's right. Because it says, Lord, I didn't even know we were going there. Because it says your gifts will make room for you. Yeah. But if you make room for the Holy Spirit, the gifts are going to come to the top. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Do you understand that? Yeah. So if we magnify the one who's worthy to be magnified, we exalt his name, and then order sets in the place. Yeah. See, order sets in the place, Brad, when we're praying every week, God, what do you want to do in our midst? Yeah. God, what are you saying to the body of Christ? And God all of a sudden deposits revelation, and God deposits revelation, yes. and God deposits yes. revelation. Yes. Yes. And God begins to open up our eyes. And order begins to come together. Hallelujah. And things begin to bloom and blossom as they should be. Hallelujah. Yes. So today we're talking about Pentecost. But I can't help but talk about Pentecost in the Old Testament first. Right. Y'all say, no, no. Pentecost ain't up in the Old Testament. Yeah. It is, isn't it, Brenda? Yeah. Pentecost was happening. See, we don't know a lot in the Old Testament, but the Old Testament is only a type and a shadow yes. that is pointing directly to us, right. that our fathers point us straight to Jesus. Amen. 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 And we can learn the principles from the Old Testament. And so in the Old Testament, they called it first fruits. Mm -hmm. They called it Shavaho. Mm -hmm. They called it the Feast of Weeks or the Week of Weeks. Because it was seven weeks of weeks and then a day. How many of y'all knew that? And, and this is not, this is found when we see this in Exodus 23, Exodus 24, Leviticus. Now I know that book scares me. That's not some of y'all. No, but we're not afraid of the truth. We're not afraid of scripture. Amen. We're not afraid. I'm going to say this. Yeah. This makes me think of this the other day. We're not afraid to get understanding. Amen. Right. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Yes. We're not afraid to get wisdom and understanding. Amen. Because, see, the reason we're not afraid is because the one who is wisdom and who is understanding abides right within us. Yeah. Yeah. Therefore, we call on the one, Jesus himself, Yeshua, who is wise. Yes. And yes. Solomon said, get wisdom and get understanding. Yeah. And when you get Jesus, you got wisdom and you got yeah. understanding. Yeah. So all you need is a revelation from the Holy 
Ghost yeah, yeah. to give it to you. Yeah, yeah. And guess what? We said this a few weeks ago. It is the will of God for you to know the will of God. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be shotgunning it. Whatever your will is. <laughs> Allow Holy Spirit to speak. Yeah. To know his will. He does some strange things through billboards, yeah. magazines, people riding down the road in the shower. I ain't trying to be personal. But we get some revelation. Right. And guess what? If you hear something and you don't quite get uh, understand it in that moment, can I give a word of wisdom and warning yeah. here? Yeah. Don't go jacking that thing up with your mouth saying, oh, that ain't a God, that ain't a God. If you feel that way, you privately go before the Lord. Father, what are you saying? Yeah. Okay, is that right? Yeah. You go before the Lord. Because I'm going to tell you, when I talk to people, I'll tell you the truth. This is what I feel like the Lord shared with me. If I am in error, I welcome Holy Spirit to bring correction. Right. Yes. I welcome. I am open. Yes. Because I don't have all the answers to know everything. Yes. But I know the one who does. Yes. And I love the fact that we can dialogue right. about the difference. Yes. And we can love each other in the difference. Yes. Can't we? Yes. And we can maneuver and allow God to use us in the difference. Yes. Because there is unity in diversity. I'm right. 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 <laughs> so we see this found in the Old Testament. The last one was Deuteronomy. So in the Old Testament, what they would do is they would, um, they would prepare two loaves of bread that had leaven in it. This time it had leaven. Remember in the New Testament where he told them, cast out the old leaven? Yeah. That was during the time of Passover. And what he was saying, he said, get rid of your old, for Passover, this is for Passover, get rid of your old thinking that is destructive and allow your hearts to be cleansed to become pliable to the new leaven, to the new word, to the new revelation that I'm depositing in you. Yeah. That's Shabbat Hope. Yeah. That's Pentecost. Because see, something new was about to come on the scene that had never come on the scene before in this fashion. Yeah, yeah. Because see, in the Old Testament, we see where the Holy Spirit visits them. And look at this. The Holy Spirit came upon him and he judged Israel. And he went out to war. And the Lord gave blah, 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 blah. Mesopotamia <laughs> to his hand. And he prevailed over Cushion. There you go. All right, now this was talking about Othniel in here, okay? Look at this next one. And they came to the hill of Gibeah. Behold, a group of prophets met him, and the Spirit of the Lord did what? Came upon them. Came on and mightily, and he prophesied under divine guidance among them. Last one. And then the Spirit of the Lord came on, on Gideon, and he blew. Y'all, if y'all never read that story, yeah. uh, this will set you fire. Hey. This will set you on fire. And he blew the trumpet, summoning the uh, Abzadrites to follow him. I don't ever claim to know all these words, and I won't. <laughs> so what happened? What happened? The Spirit of God, during that dispensation, came on them for a certain tasks, for certain events, or even for Saul for a period to reign as king. Because later on, that anointing on him was lifted. But that's Old Testament, all right? It's going to get better. Y'all hang on. It's getting better. Now look at this. <laughs> They're going from smoke to woke. <laughs> look at this in the Old Testament. On the morning of the third day, there was thunder and lightning. I'm going to hit this in a second. Y'all are going to see something really awesome here. A thick cloud. Who's visualizing this right now? Yes, Kelly, can you yes. see this picture? A thick cloud covered the mountain. A loud trumpet blast was heard, and everyone in the camp trembled. And Moses led them out of the camp of meeting, uh, camp to meet God. And they stood at the front of the mountain. Mount Sinai was covered with smoke because what? The Lord came down in what? He came down in flaming fire and smoke poured out of the mountain just like a furnace and the whole mountain shook. Now there is also a reference in Exodus chapter 20. 
There it is. In verse 18, that word says, and on the morning of the third day, this is another reference, it said, they perceived the thundering and the lightning. That word perceived in the Greek said that they heard voices. They were hearing a voice and a sound. And it said that sound was being distributed. And according to Jewish tradition, that sound and those voices that were being heard was about 70 voices representing other languages. Uh-oh. Come on with it. Representing other languages and the people heard. Oh. <laughs> Right now. The people were hearing God in their own language mm -hmm. on Mount Sinai. Yeah. Shabbat was when God gave the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. Pentecost was when God gave the Ten Commandments mm -hmm. to the people. Mm -hmm. Y'all y'all following me? Mm -hmm. Come on, let it sink in a minute. And the glory of the Lord filled the temple. <clears throat> See, they had priests typically that would go in, right? Mm -hmm. they, let's remember that. Uh -huh. They had priests that would go in and do all the work for you. Uh -huh. They would take care of all of that for you. Let me tell you what. God is building a priesthood that doesn't have to go in for you because you are the priest. Yes. Right. You are the priest. You are the priest. And you go by yourself before the holy God. And you, it says that we can come before the throne yes. of grace yes. with boldness and make our petitions known yes. before God. And you are that priest. Yes. 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 So they went from smoke to woke. Then the glory, the Shekinah glory. How many of y'all have experienced that? Yes. yes. It's that thick cloud. It's yes. that thick feeling. Yes. Now let me tell you what. Yes. The glory of God can come on you in different ways. Ken, we're going to be talking about this, the glory and, and some things coming up soon. Guess what? You don't have to have deuce folks. Amen. You don't have to shout and speak in tongues for the glory of God to come on you. That's right. Because let me tell you what, now the glory of God is in you. Yeah, right. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he can manifest himself how he wants to. Yeah. And it can be just like this. Yeah. That's why we don't jack when anybody's worshiping us. Yes. Let's worship yeah. like you want to. Yes, that's right. right. Because there's freedom. Yeah. Because you're free. All are free. That's right. Free. I'm going to say that. Can I tell you what happened in the harvest man? Tell us. I'll tell you what happened in the harvest man. Unlimited has quite often, if you don't know this, some of you do has been hit by accusation that we're a free-for-all. Anybody heard that? Okay. And it is our heart to aggressively work to keep things in order and in balance and keep the Word of God at the, as the plumb line. That's right. And to exalt the name of Jesus and I heard a song this morning, and it was called Free For All. Mm -hmm. And I was listening, and I said, Lord, I said, we're not a free for all. He said, yes, you are. Mm -hmm. He said, it's free for all. I said, yes, Father, it's free for all. Yeah. Free for all who walk in the door. Yeah. Free for all who watch my video. Free for all who will listen to your testimony. Yeah. It's free because that's the heart of Father God. Yes. Yeah. Freedom. Yeah. It is for freedom we've been set free. Yes. So bless the Lord. No, we're not a free for all, but it's free for all. Yeah. Amen? Amen? I just want to share that with you this morning because I about wrecked my car <laughs> <laughs> on that one. So we see where the Holy Spirit came down in the Old Testament. We see how he visited them. We see how he, he went into the tent of meeting, is, as what they called it, before they actually had the, the temple of the tabernacle. 
And, and it says Moses wasn't able to enter the tent of meeting because the cloud remained on it. In other words, you could hardly stand and function in that capacity to serve because of the power of God that was being displayed in, in that place. The power of God coming upon that place. And it said, and the glory and the brilliance of the Lord filled the temple, filled the tabernacle. Anyway, that goes on to talk about how there was a cloud by day and a fire by night. Are y'all hearing this? Yes. You got to remember smoke. You got to remember the cloud. You got to remember the fire. You got to remember the voices. That, are y'all hearing it? Yes. Hey, we're getting ready. Brendan, we're getting ready? Yes, ma'am. We're getting yes. ready. Now, here's the promise. I want somebody to read that as loud as you can. Mm -hmm. Somebody read that up there. This is the promise. After all that was said and done, Joel comes on the scene and says, get ready. Somebody read that. Then after doing all of these things, I will pour out my spirit upon all people. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. And in those days, I will pour out my spirit, yes. even on servants, yes. men and women alike. Yes. Thank you. Let me tell you what was happening there. Israel had been coming and going in their relationship with the Father. Israel had been breaking covenant, and God would have mercy. They break covenant, and God would have mercy. And he says, here's what's about to happen. Mm -hmm. He says, I'm telling you that after all of that you have done and experienced, I want to say it again, after all you've ever said and done, yeah. I don't care where you've been, what you've done, what you participated in, what you That's said, right. after you. all yes. those things, yes. after all those things, Thank LeBron, you. after all those things, he said, I will pour out yes. my spirit on you, on all people. Your sons, y'all better get ready for your children to start prophesying. Yeah. And dreaming dreams. Oh, and your daughters. Yeah. How many of you been in churches where your daughters couldn't even say a word? I ain't going. Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And your old men will dream dreams. You don't see visions. How many of you are starting to dream and see some things? You go, yes. Don't be afraid of that. Amen. Amen. Don't be afraid of that and write it down. Mm -hmm. Write it down. Mm -hmm. Write it down. That's a word for somebody. So we see the promise. Let's look at this next part. The New Testament, insight into the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. This is where we're going. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And he came up out of the water at once, and John saw the hip mm -hmm. torn, oops, violet, mm -hmm. split, mm -hmm. ripped, mm -hmm. come on, yeah. pulled open, and the Holy Spirit like a dove coming down to what? Oh, wait a minute. It ain't, it ain't necessarily just coming for a visit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, this is where we're shifting gears. Yeah. Because, see, Holy Spirit said, Johnny Walker, I ain't coming to visit you, visit you anymore. I'm not coming to, have, to, to come visit you. He said, I'm coming for a habitation. Right he now. says, I'm coming to inhabit you because I'm about to lead you into a new place. And don't you let nobody get on your path and wreck the journey that I have for you, says the Lord. And I'm going to empower you to see things that you've never seen before because I got a plan and a purpose for your life. And the people that tried to hinder you before and to step in your way, the Lord says, get ready because I'm going to use you to use you to speak to them. And you're going to change their life. Amen. 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 So the Holy Spirit came. And look at this in John. And John clenched his witness with this. Mm -hmm. I watched. Let me tell you something. Nobody can deny an experience. Who we say? We said that the other day. Nobody can deny an experience. Right. When you have an experience and encounter with Father God. Whether it's that moment of salvation or that refreshing renewal of the baptism of the Holy Spirit, yes. whatever it is, it's, you can't deny that. And John said, I saw it. Yes. I experienced it. Yes. 
like a dove coming down on the sky, making himself at home. You know what that home is? Tabernacle. Yeah. Tabernacle, dwelling yes. place, sanctuary. You look up these words. In other words, he, he said, honey, I'm alone. Mm -hmm. Let's sit a spell. He said, pull up a chair to the table. Come to the table. Look at this. Y'all ready for Acts? Mm -hmm. This is good. And when the day of Pentecost had fully come. Woo! Why yes. is that important? Yes. Because Joel, and, and, and in the Old Testament prior, they got visited. They yes. had a visitation, yes. and now the fullness yes. of time came yes. and said, we're yes. going to have a holy habitation. Yes. Hallelujah. So the fullness, when it had fully come, Meaning this was the moment, the 50 days after Jesus yes. had walked the earth and then 10 days before, because after 40 days, Jesus ascended into heaven. Yes. So 10 days later, he gives them a word. He says, you got to go to Jerusalem. Yes. You got to find the upper room. Yes. You got to get there with the other 120. Yes. See, there's specific things that Holy Spirit tells us to do. Yes. And we think we're losing our freaking mind. Why are you asking me that? That doesn't make any sense. Some things don't make sense. That doesn't give us an excuse to go do things that don't make sense. But when Pentecost had fully come, where were they? They were together. They were together. They were unified. They were in one, one place. They were in one accord. Then suddenly a sound from heaven, like the rushing of a violent, she didn't know I was going to use this one, yeah. of a violent blast, tempest blast, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting, and there appeared to them tongues resembling fire which were separated and distributed on them. Let me tell you something about this. This was the inauguration, the infusion, and the ignition of Holy Ghost during this time. That's what it was. Now I want to, let's go to this next verse that we have. And they were filled or diffused. Mm -hmm. Now listen, you see that italics? That's my word. Mm -hmm. Because it goes with another word, and I'm going to tell you why I put it there. Now I'm not adding to the scripture. Don't anybody get theological on me and start casting stones. And they were filled or diffused. That word diffused in here. Diffused, somebody gonna shout, means to spread or cause to spread over a wide area or among a large number of people. Wow. It means to disperse. Right. It means to disperse. Okay. So what happened after there was diffusion, then there was infusion. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what the word infusion yeah. means? Yeah. It means fill, pervade, permeate. Mm -hmm. It means charge, saturate, inspire, inundate. Mm -hmm. It means breath. It means inject, impart, inoculate, and it means immerse. They were they were baptized. Yes. How many of you know what the word baptizo means? Yes. Immersed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes. They were immersed in the goodness of God yes. through the Holy Spirit. Yes. Some of us need a fresh baptism yes. today. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. And it said they began to speak in other languages or tongues as the Spirit yes. gave them a loud expression. God fearing men from everywhere. And I'm going to push forward here just a second. And when this sound was heard, the multitude. Mm -hmm. yeah. How many of you know your witness? Yes, God, thank you, thank you. Precedes you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that witness, they were witnessing something. They were hearing a moving and a shattering and, and, a, and a commotion. How many of you know sometimes people are drawn by what's happening in your life? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. They were either being drawn or repelled. Right, yeah. right. And, and they were being drawn. What is this noise I'm hearing? Yeah. What is all this commotion? What is this? And when they heard it, they came near and they were astonished and bewildered because each one of them heard the apostles speaking in their own dialect, mm -hmm. their own language. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the supernatural miracle here that they were speaking in another language or that they had the ability to hear it? Oh. <laughs> Come on. Uh, yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was twofold. Twofold, yeah. That was twofold. Both sides. Both sides. Mm -hmm. And look at this. There were people from everywhere. I'm not reading all that. They were all <laughs> over the place. <laughs> <laughs> and it said, We heard them. Mm -hmm. We heard them. That was a supernatural move of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. not only to speak, but to hear what God yes. is saying. Yes. This morning you are sitting here hearing, and each of you are hearing something different, yes. but you might be hearing the same. Yes. Because it's the Holy Spirit yes. at yes. work. Yes. Anyway, it says we hear them speaking in our native tongues and telling of the mighty works mm -hmm. of God. Later on, we're going to be talking about speaking and praying in tongues. I think this is a good place to step on the Bible that because there's teaching on that, yes. and we need to get wisdom when we need yes. to get understanding. Yes. Yes. All right? Yes. Amen. Look at this. They were beside themselves, were amazement. They were bewildered. They said, y'all, you y'all drunk. Y'all yeah. Yeah. been drinking. And he said, no, we're not been drinking. It's only, it's, we're not, they're not drinking. You know, mm -hmm. and it says, you Jews and all you residents of Jerusalem, let this be explained to you so that you will know, mm -hmm. get wisdom, get understanding, mm -hmm. so that you will know and understand, listen closely to what I have to say. Mm -hmm. For these men <coughs> are not drunk as you imagine. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, but instead, yes, Father, mm -hmm. this is a word yeah. for us and those watching today by video. Mm -hmm. This is, yeah. uh huh. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> this is, come on, somebody take a hold of this. Yeah. The beginning. Yeah. Today, for you in this room, this is the beginning. Yeah. His mercies are new every morning. But there is a defining moment right here, right now, for those who are listening and those who will watch. This is the beginning because it is the fulfillment of the call of God where he's going to put you where he needs you. And he's going to divinely put words in your mouth. And he's going to cause people to hear you like they've never heard you before. And your witness. It is going before you. And the Holy Spirit is bearing witness yes. of the truth. Yes. Oh. yes. And then all of a sudden as we read, what does he do? He reads Joel chapter 2. Mm -hmm. That's why it was so important for us to go to the Old Testament that says get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready now. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. Right now. Yes. <laughs> Go to that next slide. Inauguration, infusion, ignition. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. That's what happened, and it had to happen. You know why it had to happen? And it had to happen for this reason. Go to that next slide now. Because we are a habitation, a tent, a temple, a sanctuary of his mighty Holy Spirit. He said, what? No, ye not. I'm so sorry. I'm going to take this off. And I know I got chicken wings under here. I don't care. Now he said, what? No, ye not. That your body is the temple of the yes. Holy Ghost. Yes. Oh, which is in you. Say in. In. Which you have. have. And you are not your own, for you've been yes. bought with a precious yes. price. Yes. The Amen. spotless blood of the Lamb. That's Amen. what it says. Amen. So what, why did the Holy Spirit come? <laughs> to equip yes. the body. Hallelujah. To empower the body. So that you can... 
Say it loud. B. No, say it again. B. B. Hey, how many times have we been talking about this just B? Yeah. So that we can be because we have to be in Christ, Christ be in us before we can be his witnesses before we ever try to go. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God is so good and faithful to us. He said, I'm not going to leave you without help. I'm not going to leave you on your own. He said, I'm sending the comforter, the helper. Yes. I'm sending the teacher. Yes. I'm sending the advocate, the one who's going to fight for you when you've yes. been wrongfully accused. Yes. I'm sending the one who's going to teach you all things. Yes. I'm sending the one who's yes. even going to help you remember what it is. Yeah. Sometimes I need help remembering. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that right, Miles? <laughs> you know, that's who the Holy Spirit is. Yes. He's the one who quickens our mortal bodies. Yes. He's the one who glorifies and testifies of Christ. He's the one who sanctifies us. He's the one who fills us. He's the one who's praying when we don't know how to pray. Amen. That's the Holy yes. Spirit this yes. morning. Come on. Yes. That's the Holy yes. Spirit this yes. morning. Yes. Thank God we have him. Mm. Thank you. Mm. And you know what? We're not going to just celebrate him on Pentecost. Mm. Yeah. Every day. Amen. Every day. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Yeshua Jesus, that you sent. He said, I must go away. You know why he said, I must go away? Ron, get ready to play that, uh, that song. Uh, and Ken, come on up. And Aaron, we're going to do that last song as we close out in a minute, that, uh, that new song. He knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> We're not just celebrating the Holy Spirit today. We are celebrating the fact that the Holy Spirit is every moment of yes. every day yes. at work. Yes. Every moment of every day. And he desires to teach us. And we welcome him into our lives every moment of every day. And say, awaken us. Awaken us, teach us. Awaken us, teach us. How many of y'all want that? How many of y'all need just a fresh breath of God this morning? Stand to your feet. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Breathe, Holy Spirit, fresh and anew. Breathe on us fresh and anew today. Lead us, Father God. Lead us. We thank you. Thank you, God, for all that you've done. Thank you for your mighty power. Thank you, Lord, that when we don't know what direction to go in, you teach us. When we don't know how and we can't see, your word says in Philippians 2 that you give us, you are all the while effectually at work in us, giving us your desire, your power and ability. And we say, yes, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Every day is new. Every day, Father. Every day. Amen. Amen. Give God glory this morning. Give my hand to the Lord. How many y'all know that this was an offering? There was a wave offering. There was a wave offering in the Old Testament. I'm going to try not to wave my arm too much with this stuff going on over there. There was a wave offering. There, there was all kind of offerings. For you are a royal priesthood. A holy nation. Yes. Yeah. Chosen by God called. Yeah. That you should show forth the praises of him. Yes. Who has called you out of darkness. You've been called out, Brandon. Yes. It's not business as usual. Amen. It's not going to look like what you thought it was going to look like. Because now is your time to step into that place. Yeah. A fresh and anew. Yes. Let the Holy Ghost rise up in you, son. You've got a gift. Yes. Yeah. And the Lord says, I've called you to use that gift. The Lord says, don't try to get your brain in it. The Lord says, let my spirit yeah. lead you and guide you yeah. into all truth. Amen. Amen. Let my spirit in all your decisions lead you in 
and guide you into all truth. And the Lord says, in my presence, there is fullness of joy. Yeah. Joy. Somebody, Linda, Brenda, lay your hands on him. Yes. Pray joy over him. Yes, yes, Pray. Lord. Right now, we speak Thank joy. You, Lord, we speak, Lord, that out of this innermost being will flow your rivers of living water right now. Lord, we thank you, God, that you are giving him joy unspeakable, and your word says full of glory, that the glory of God is going to come upon him from the top of his head to the very sole of his feet right now. We thank you, God, that your Holy Spirit is doing a new thing in his life. We thank you, God, that he is covered by your blood. We thank you that what the enemy has meant for evil, that God is making it good. We thank you that all the things work together for good to them who are called. Brandon is called to be today. And we thank you, God, that you are at work in his life. Yes. We thank you, God, that from this moment forward, he will go, go forth yes. into a new realm. He will go forth into a new destiny, Lord, that you are unfolding, that you are ordering his steps according to your word today. And we thank you, God, for that joy, yes. for that peace. Yes. My peace, you, your word says, yes. that you give. That his heart will not be troubled. It will not be afraid. He will yes. not be dismayed by what things may look yes. like. Yes. But we know, God, that you are in control of his life today. And we thank you for it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Anybody have anything quickly you want to share this morning? Hallelujah. Anybody? We, we, we're just making room for the Holy Spirit. Anybody have anything? Yes. 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 Woo! Thank you, Lord. Well, I tell you what, Hallelujah. in a few minutes, we're going to sing our way out of here this song. We're not going to pray because we've been praying and the Holy Ghost yes. is hearing us. He's still hearing us and we hear him. We're going to sing this song and then we're going to get ready to eat some pizza and talk about Pathfinders. And Pathfinders will just take the place of our meet and greet where if you're interested in knowing about how to partner with Unlimited, what we're all about, why we believe what we believe, why we do what we do. I can't answer that all the time. <laughs> that, I'm sorry, that was peculiar. Yeah, that's right. Peculiar people. But anyway, hang out with us. We got pizza, and then we're going to put on our dirty clothes and get busy. Amen? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. All right, let's sing with